show you um, Rhino Nest. It's a program for nesting of parts. And the first thing I want to show you is what we've got on the screen here. First is a part up in the up that I'm a very simple thing that I drew. And this box down below is our material sheet. And there's the Rhino Nesting menu. The first one is the actual nest command, but then you have the toolbar. If you click that, you can actually drag this off. It has a bunch of choices where you can add tabs, you can add dots, it can check if you're um, closed curves, and a few other commands. The first thing this program needs is that it only works on a closed curve, and if you've noticed, I've drawn this part in segments. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick all the pieces and join them. And then I'm going to type join. So now the part's one piece. The next thing I found out through experience is that if I want to have this square hole in the middle of the part be nested along with the rest, I've got to group my part together. So I'm going to go group and then choose both of them. Okay. Now to nest the part, it's very, very simple. We click on the nest button and if you look up here, it's going to ask us ignore groups. We go no because we do have a group. Select curves to optimize. We click this. We hit enter. Now it's asking for our sheet, which is a rectangle. And the sheet can be pretty much any size you want. If you're actually for, for real world purposes, it could be the work area of your tool, or it could be the size of the material that you've got. And so I just took something arbitrary here. We click on it. Now up we come with this menu. And the Rhino Nest menu, it shows the object that it found. Now you notice it doesn't show the square, but it's in there. It, it'll drag it along. The first thing is we can choose the number of parts that we want to make by double clicking up here. And let's go um, 22. Okay. Put any number you want it in there. Next it's going to ask the item to item distance. So how far apart are they going to be? We have one unit. The other next distance is how far apart from the edge. And then what we have are some choices. This is how much time it's on a slider bar here. Do you want it to take to figure this out? If you don't have a lot of parts, you could take as long as you want to be make it as tight as possible. If you have very few parts, you can just make it faster. Delete original. Bounding box from objects. This is if, say, you had a sphere, it would take the bounding box, the outside profile of that. Multi-sheet. If it's going to run multiple sheets beyond the one sheet that you have, you say OK. Then we have orientation. I have free orientation here, so that it gives it the leeway to uh, turn the parts any way it wants to to make as many fit into the material as possible. But we could go fixed orientation, allow 180, allow 90, depending on what you're doing. And all you do is you click nesting. Let it go to town. It's going to think for a while here as so the bar goes across. And after we finish this, I want to show you another example where we'll do some text. So it'll take a couple minutes. Rhino Nest is a pretty interesting program. It takes a little bit of time to kind of figure out some of its possible things that you can do with it. Um, up here, you can go up and this align. That's pretty interesting. If you're a sculptor and you have a 3D face, like in 3D, it'll and you broke it up into slices, it'll like array those slices for you. Um, during the middle of this, we can pan around, and you can see it actually laid out some parts, and we have more parts than one sheet can hold, so it's moved on to the next sheet. And we're at 13 of 22, and what it'll do is it'll lay those parts out on the second sheet. And that probably should finish it up. There we go. Oh, we're going to a four sheet, fourth sheet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So yeah, we'll use one third sheet. And you notice that the square in the part actually trailed along after we made it into a group. So we'll do the last one. Pan over a little bit. You can pan during the middle of this, but you can't zoom. And there we go. We close out. Zoom down. Zoom over. And it's done. Thank you.